Welcome to episode 11. Uh, I'm actually in the lady loft at the minute. I'm going to be showing you guys the update in the lady lounge and in here and the lady loft. I'm also going to be stitching in some bonus footage for Comic Con. I will leave a timestamp in this video if you don't want to watch that footage for Comic Con. Please don't, but enjoy this update. Oh, and subscribe, please. <laughs> so let's start in the lady lounge we're gonna go up there after it's still a mess believe it or not it's still a mess i'll give you a bit of a panoramic but loads has been added in here a lot's been been added uh, and i'll walk you through so this is by no means a final tour this is going to be quite shoddy work if i'm honest compared to production value um, so SNES games, I think you've seen these. I'll switch this on actually because I keep getting asked about this. I have done a short YouTube shorts about this. Go and check my shorts playlist. You'll see exactly what this is and exactly where you cannot buy it from. Um, so this is all new. So sorry, Molly. Sorry, sorry, baby. Um, so we've got some marquees up. These are printed on vinyl. Um, I've got some, and I say that because I've got some stickered, stickered ones as well. Um, this needs to go up. This is actually going to be going up like there, if you can kind of just visualise it in your mind's eye. Um, this is from an old shop, uh, Secret of Manor, SNES Point of Sale. So yeah, we've got the Capcom Pac-Man Outrun, um, got the nice Advantage and Schoolmaster ca um, card. What? I can't, do you ever just ca cannot speak? What the hell is going on? Um, joysticks. Um, these are really cool, um, but you'd have seen them in the old game room. And then on top, we've got some amiibos and this really cool, cool little Lego Super Mario thingy my bob. Um, yeah, so there, that's my uh, really cool clock. Again, go check the shorts. So, so that's new. If I shut the door, we've got the SNES decal on the light, which I just love. Um, current gen consoles. Um, my customised PlayStation 3. This is all just a mess. This is actually going to be replaced. I think what I'm going to be doing is actually me and Jess are going to be making some shelves and staining them ourselves and just using the height a bit more. So they'll kind of come to about here so I can have more consoles on because other than what I've got shoddily placed on there, obviously none of this is set up. Okay. So none of it is set up. And this, by the way, there's also an episode about this customs SNES um, from Raw Talent Art, which I implore you to go and check. I'll kind of show you guys. It's really, really nice. And um, yeah, it's all on my channel. If you go to the channel's main page, you'll see so many episodes. So i uh, got the Jag Lurk in here as well. Got loads of random stuff. And this is for a giveaway I'm doing over on my Facebook group. So uh, there's a copy. I don't know if this is real, guys told you this would be raw and pure i don't know if that's real but it's it's part of the giveaway go over to the gebs 24 facebook page and enter the giveaway so we got um this was in order some of this was in order um game boy game boy color game boy advance la -de da -de da spuds adventure now i just want to talk to you about this this is one of the this is the rarest released game boy game in the world this is a reproduction box and it's a real game inside spoke about it tons but I just wanted it in a box because, well, I just did really. Um, finally got the handheld stuff up here. This is still a mess. This still needs to be repainted about 55 times. So some handheld stuff up there. Bit of mood lighting needs to still come under here. Got the Turtles Arcade cab, which is super cool. 3DS, DS games, and ta-da. So yeah, <laughs> again, this is really, really rough. These are my marquees that I'm going to be putting up, which are the stickered marquees. Again, more stuff's going to be up here and we're actually going to put some shelves up here tonight. Actually, this, this shelf. Uh, so I finally got this up here. Sarah crocheted me a really cute Pikachu. I love, I love that girl. Um, and this is actually pushed quite a ways back. So the kind of, the game situation when I'm playing is kind of like, like that um it's it is a real tip in here it's nowhere near finished i'm going to take you into the attic these are games that i've actually filmed pickups for which, which you've seen 
but because everything is now in alphabetical order in here i have no room on shelves for these so i'm thinking of having a bit of a miscellaneous shelf is what i'm thinking um so yeah so consoles are still in here all of this is floor to ceiling with consoles okay handhelds some joysticks so some peripherals um there's so much in there that i need to show you i'm desperate to show you now like i said in the intro there is going to be some bonus footage stitched into this if you don't want to see the comic con stuff please don't watch it but i did get this this is on my alien shelf i did get this from comic con i'm not a huge fan of comic con at all i much prefer the gaming markets but i have a ripley I don't know what year it's from it's probably one of the like the 2016 so it's not like one of the original ones and that's just not my cool little that's a xenomorph um i'll show you on the final tour nonetheless okay so i've got tomb raider shelf which is new signed a lot of this stuff is going to be oh and check it i have a signed picture from the voice actress judith gibbons from tomb raider 2 and tomb raider 3 so that's really really cool that's really really cool going to be meeting her again on saturday at the quad for the 25th anniversary tomb raider event so this is so far uh, the lady lounge and i'm gonna take you now into the lady loft right we're in the lady loft and uh still a fucking mess um but the good news is i'm going to tell you everything what's going on i'm going to flick to some footage from the other night actually pre those cubes check it now okay so i'm in the attic obviously it still looks like a mess it's driving me mad but the good news is the carpet's down and the better news is is the stream setup is up and um, i'm gonna talk you guys through what's what's going on okay um, these pictures here, artwork going on here. There's more artwork that's going to be going on. Plasterboard is actually going on within the next couple of weeks. So that'll be cool. Next update, you guys should have plasterboard and all of this trimming should be done and it will look a lot neater. I took on board what you guys said about the brick and I've decided to leave this wall as is. Obviously, it's been cleaned and PVA bonded. We just need to fill in the gaping holes, as you can see. Um... It, now all of this so we've got ps3 games 360 more ps3 games 360 um a load of controllers we need to go through books i mean there's so much stuff here we're going to go through it um, and once all this has been plasterboarded a lot of it is going to be out um the eaves are going to have like gamer curtains rather than i have like wood which i think is going to be difficult to get into um we're going to have a nice kind of cool colorful character gaming character curtains i think it'd be look really really nice again all this is going to be um plasterboarded we're going to have little um mdf two by four on the sides here to finish it off really nicely we're going to bri wax it and then i'll be able to kind of you know put some pictures up here have little shelves out some kind of display pieces it'll start to come together you know like my my predator head which is actually a dvd the dvd collection yeah um i love this thing um so yeah lady lounge is really coming together as well uh, but like I said, it's it's not too bad. The stream setup is very, very functional. I have so much space in here. You can see it's such a nice space. It's really starting to come together. PS4 games are out. These are all alphabetized, um, which is really cool. This is all going to change. It's just kind of there for now. Sarah also has half of my Nintendo Switch collection. It does look a bit thin on the ground. Um, this I need to get a case for because I got this signed when I was down at Gamescom. Obviously by Yu Suzuki. I've shown this before, but for those that haven't seen it, I'll show you the article as well. Um, got him signed that. Had to queue up twice though. <laughs> Woo! So cool. 
Uh, I've got a Master System game signed by the man himself as well. But yeah, blessed to really have that. Um, so yeah, it's coming together. Same with this side. Um, we're going to have like the gamer curtains and then obviously we're going to have little shelves i've got a little tv and you know none of this is going to be here and it's really going to look nice so hope you guys can share the vision i've just decided to put them there just for shits and kicks and um, i hope you can share the vision it does look looks all right um why your management still leaves a little bit to be desired but you know i'm working on things i kind of figured i've not done an update for quite some time you guys deserve one and uh, yeah, this is finally out. This is an absolute masterpiece. Got that on launch day from a friend. I do have quite a few. Um, got some cyberpunk stuff. I've got some Smash Brothers, there's GTA. I've got a big Deacon. Um, th I mean, I just can't, still can't have them out. There's a Crash Bandicoot, but again, they'll go in the eaves once things do start to come together that little bit more. So yeah, so things have happened. Um, next time you see this room, like I said, everything's gonna be so much better. It's gonna be so much nicer. Um, I am streaming up here now. Go follow me on Twitch. It's in the description. Go follow everybody watching this now. Go follow. We're doing some Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Um, going for completion on Resident Evil 2 on the PS1. Um, so we're really, really active on Twitch and I love being able just to talk to you guys live. Um, so it's really really fun and obviously you can subscribe over there for free if you're a prime member just kind of really helps bolster the stream i'm working really hard i want a couple of upgrades as well uh, just to improve things on the stream but so you've seen the footage last night we're going to go to a bit of a live view now of what this looks like up here so i've literally just stood up as you can see <laughs> shit is still a mess um it's it uh, you know this 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 room is so far from done it's unbelievable so like i said in the other night's footage i'm keeping the brick and um, that's got the kind of industrially kind of crappy look basically now these pictures i'm going to show you guys um this is signed by most of the really high up bungee people obviously that's going to look really cool on there you get a vibe for the artwork the style of artwork that's going to be going on there i think that looks really nice on white brick and what i'm going to do rather than drilling it in i'm actually going to use the holes that are already here and as we fill them i'm going to put some um i don't know something to hang the pictures something that's going to hang the different artwork that i've got ready there is more to go on but anything that's going on the wall including this and this this is all going to kind of go on here. It's kind of just been dumped here, right? These are also, I'm actually going to put my iMac here, but I'm going to be getting some USB power banks just to save getting faffing on plugs. So these are going to be lit most of the time. Um, it's going to look really cool. Got my coasters, stream set up with the uh, Pokemon um, kind of mats. Yeah, it is. It's looking really cool. Um, this is really nice. I have so much artwork. I just can't put out still. Now, what's left in here? So we've got some, I think that's some Wii U in there. Some random PlayStation 3 stuff. My Amiga 600. This is actually going to be hooked up to a TV. I'm going to have a little TV area might have it in this corner once all this crap has moved with the, the likes of this my amiga cd 32 and um, it's gonna look really really cool i'm gonna also get some plastic drawers and i'm gonna separate all of the controllers into specific categories i'm gonna try and print some labels online that will say like snares like the snares logo mega drive etc etc so and then i can use this box as a display piece um still got magazines lurking books uh posters consoles in the eaves i mean there's just so much stuff but i really haven't done an update for ages with you guys so i think you guys deserve it really so that's the current state of things 
you can see the lady loft which you've just seen i've actually just took the paint down to be fair um the space is really nice so stay tuned for i think it's going to be episode 12 next when all the plasterboard should be up and it will look a little bit more polished around the edges yeah let me know what you think now that's the end of the tour as such i'm gonna stitch in some special stage bonus footage now from comic-con and um, please don't watch it if you're not interested in comic-con you can leave the video now and i can just say thank you very much and um, subscribe obviously but if you want to see it i'm not going to do any voiceover i just thought i'd stitch it in just to show you guys that we did go to chesterfield comic-con over the weekend and it was fun i prefer the gaming markets myself there wasn't anything gaming there but we did get some really cool stuff so check it out now and i will catch you in the next one we're going to a tomb raider event this weekend 25th anniversary tomb raider event with some key developers and the voice actress for tomb raider 2 and tomb raider 3 so that'll be a fun video peace out if you stay in enjoy the footage if not i'll see you on stream bye